Okay, so let's have a look at the Junior Cert Higher Level Maths paper for 2022 and we're going to have a look at question 4. So in the first part here, part A, we have three triangles ABC, uh, the given lengths of the sides of each triangle are in centimetres, X1, Y are natural numbers. Uh, in this question, take a perimeter to mean the length of the perimeter. So the perimeter of triangle A is 8 centimetres. Two of the sides uh, have length 2 centimetres and 3.5 centimetres, respectively, as shown. So that's these two here. Work out the length of the third side. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward. Um, you, you can say, I don't know, let the third side length equal, I don't know, let's say L. So that would just mean that 2 plus 3.5 plus L is equal to 8 centimeters. 3, 4, 5.5 plus L is equal to 8. So L is equal to 5, 6, 7, 2.5 centimeters. So we can put in the L here as well if you like. So that's it. That's the first part done. Then we found the length of the third side. In part two, then, write down the perimeter of triangle B in terms of x. So the perimeter of triangle B. So we've just got to add up these three here. So it's 3 plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. So it is 3 plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. When we add those, we get 3 and 1, 4, 2x and 2x, 4x. So it's that many centimetres. Write down the perimeter of the triangle B in terms of x, 4 plus 4x. OK, the perimeter of triangle B is 24. Use this to work out the value of x. OK, so that's, again, straightforward enough. So 4 plus 4x is equal to 24. That means then that 4x is equal to 20. That would just mean then that x is equal to 20 divided by 4, which is 5. So now we have the value for x. The perimeter of the three triangles A, B and C form a linear sequence. Triangle C has the largest perimeter. The perimeter of triangle C is k centimetres, where k is a natural number. Find the value of k. OK, so A, B and C form a linear sequence. So remember, the uh, perimeter for triangle A was 8. The perimeter for triangle B was 24. Now, if this forms a linear sequence, that means if we look at the common difference here, I'll just do the common difference between these two here, you've got uh, 16 plus 16, you've got to add 16. So if we were to work out the third triangle perimeter then, we just add another 16 here. So 24, 34, that's going to give us 40. So the perimeter for the third triangle, triangle C, is 40 centimetres. So let's see what we have to do here. Find the perimeter for triangle C is k centimeters. Find the value of k. So our answer then would be k is equal to 40 centimeters. And that's really it for that, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Um, okay, hence work out the value of y, where y is an element of n. So y then is, oh yeah, so y is what we get when we add up these three here. It'll give us an expression for the perimeter in terms of y. So it's 5 plus y squared plus y squared plus 3. So it's 5 plus y squared plus y squared plus 3. And we know that that will be equal to 40. That's the perimeter that we got. That's the value of k that we got in the previous part of the question. So hence we'll get the value of y. So all we've got to do is work out y then. So we've got 8 plus 2y squared on the left hand side, we have 40 on this side. Uh, 2y squared is just going to be 40 minus 8, which is 32. And then we've just got to divide by 2, so that will give us 16 on this side. And then y is just the square root of 16, which is plus or minus 4. But we can't have a negative number here, I think. <clears throat> uh, yeah, could actually have a negative number. Uh, how many values? Hence, we'll get the value of y. So look, I'm just going to give one value here. Uh, uh, it's going to be 4. If you use minus 4 here, 
you will get 16 here, you will get 16 here. So because we're squaring it, it doesn't matter whether it's plus or minus. So look, uh, you'll get 16, 19, 24, plus 16, 34, which will give you 40. So that will work. Okay, so I'm going to give one answer. It just says a value, one value. So I'm just going to say 4. So y is equal to 4. And that's it. That's it for this particular question.